Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you 15 products that I am just loving right now. For the past week or so, I have been kind of racking my brain trying to figure out a different way to present my monthly favorites. Typically, I do monthly beauty favorites and fails. And most months, I do my testing hot new makeup video earlier in the month, and this month it was very late, so I didn't really have enough time to truly have anything in that video be a real favorite or feel like I could stand behind something being a favorite or a fail. So I decided to just do it this way. 15 favorites. It's mostly beauty with a couple of lifestyle items and a fashion item. So let's get into it. Product number one is the Way Body Cleanser in St. Bart's. I've spoken about the Way Body Scrub in St. Bart's in many videos. And in my most recent video where I talked about the scrub, someone in my comments wrote, have you tried the new body cleanser that they just came out with in the St. Bart's fragrance? And my immediate response was, what, are you serious? They came out with a body cleanser? I had been waiting for this. So of course I went right over to the Sephora website, saw that it was there, added it to my cart, and I am loving it. I am so, so happy to have this beautiful beachy fragrance in a body wash. I just adore the feelings of being at the beach that this fragrance evokes. So thank you to Way for finally coming out with the St. Bart's Body Cleanser, and thank you to the person who told me in the comments that it existed. Up next, we have my Ritual Vitamins. This is the Essential for Women Multivitamin for age 18 plus. Not everyone knows the story, but a lot of you do. Back in December, I had to go to the hospital, to the ER, and stay there overnight because I had an issue with my back, with a disc in my back. So during that time I was at the hospital, they of course did blood work, and one of the doctors comes in and obviously explains to me what's going on with my back and the disc, but he also told me that I was deficient in a lot of my vitamins and minerals. And I wasn't surprised because I do try to eat healthy, but I don't always get in all of the nutrients that I need, especially at my age. So I realized right then that I had to, number one, attempt to eat better, and number two was to look into taking a high quality multivitamin. Lo and behold, a couple of weeks later, Ritual reached out to me and asked if I would like to try their product for a potential sponsored video. So I would like to thank Ritual for sponsoring this portion of the video. But you know I told them that I had to try the vitamin before I would put out any content promoting it. And believe me, I was skeptical, but then I did some research on the company and discovered that the founder had very valid reasons for developing this product. She was pregnant and she was wanting to just have only the best things in her body and around her house. And she was also on the search for a good, clean prenatal vitamin. And when she looked at the ingredients, she never found anything that she felt could be trusted, so she developed her own. This is a clinical-backed multivitamin. It's formulated with high-quality key nutrients to help fill in your dietary gaps. And one of the things I love about this Ritual Vitamin is that the founder went above and beyond the standard required testing. She wanted to obtain the most rigorous certifications and tested every batch of products for heavy metals, microbes, and allergens. It's vegan friendly, it's non-GMO project verified. A couple of other things that I really like about the Ritual Vitamins are that they come right to your door. You don't have to worry about running out. You can get your monthly subscription. And I also really enjoy that these have a slightly natural mint flavor to them, which makes taking the two time-released vitamins a lot more bearable. If you're like me and you do not typically like to take vitamins because they often have this weird taste or aftertaste, these are just like popping a couple of mints in your mouth. And Ritual offers a happiness guarantee. So if after 30 days you do not love your Ritual vitamins, they will refund 100% of your money, no questions asked. And Ritual is offering all of my viewers 20% off their first month. All you need to do is visit ritual.com slash Risa20 and use the code Risa20 to receive that 20% off your first month. And now since I was talking about 
eating better and how I am trying to eat better in addition to taking the multivitamin, I have been trying to up my protein intake. And one of the ways I've been doing that is with a protein bar. And I have tried so many different protein bars and they all tasted horrible or they were incredibly high calorie, like 300, 400 calorie. And I was trying to find something that was a little bit less calories that actually tasted really, really good, but was still high in protein. And a couple of weeks ago, my sister was in town and she told me about these that you can get at Trader Joe's. The company is called Bear Bell. The one she had me try was like a sea salt and peanut, which I really liked, but then I saw that they had cookies and cream. And my second favorite, which I'm out of right now, I have to get more, is the cookie dough, the chocolate cookie dough bar. That tastes like you're eating a candy bar. I have never been so impressed by a protein bar. This one has 200 calories, so it's still a lot, but it's not bad for an afternoon snack. And it has 20 grams of protein. I honestly cannot say enough good things about these protein bars. If Trader Joe's stops selling them, I'm going to be very, very upset. All right, let's switch things up for a few minutes and talk about some makeup. Up first is the KVD Vegan Beauty Good Apple Liquid Serum Foundation. I own it in two shades because the first one I got that I ordered online when it was first launched was too light. So then I got another one to wear when I've self-tanned and sometimes I mix the two together. This foundation is not for everybody. If you have dry or very dry skin or you're someone who doesn't like a lot of coverage, maybe you are someone who normally just uses a tinted moisturizer, this is not going to be for you. It is full coverage. It gives you that flawless look. But what I'm loving about it is that it lasts all day. It really, really helps to keep my shine at bay, at least more so than a lot of other foundations. I still haven't decided if I like it more than my MAC Studio Fix Fluid or my Estee Lauder Double Wear for my very oily skin. I'm thinking about maybe doing a comparison video. So please let me know in the comments if you would like to see a KVD Good Apple Foundation versus Estee Lauder Double Wear or Studio Fix Fluid, or maybe I'll do a comparison of the three. But I'm really loving this right now. It does have some good skin benefits in it as well. So if you have skin like mine or you have foundation preferences like I do where you prefer a more medium buildable to full coverage, you can also mix in a moisturizer with this to shear it out. Or you can use a damp beauty blender to shear it out. But again, if you have dry or very dry skin, I would disregard this recommendation. So in at number five are the House Labs Color Fusion Blushes. I did use the shade Hibiscus Haze in my March Testing Hot New Makeup video. And in that video, I mentioned that I also purchased this pink shade. Look at how beautiful this pink is. This one is called Dragon Fruit Days. I've got to tell you. Everything about this is so, so good. From the packaging with the mirror to the fact that it's talc free, the colors are stunning. They last all day on my oily skin. They don't bring out any texture, they're smoothing. This is the one I have on today. Yeah, I just love these so much. Another makeup item that I am loving is this little shimmer product from Give by Gwen Stefani. I have to put my glasses on to read this. This is called I See in Sparkle Multidimensional Eye Pigment. I purchased the shade Twinkle. This is so beautiful. I have several products like this that give this sort of loose glitter sparkle effect. But what I love about this one versus some of the others is that the sparkle doesn't end up everywhere. I'm not gonna lie and tell you that a little sparkle doesn't fall down on the cheeks but not nearly as much as some other similar products do. When I had my staycation here in Vegas a couple of weekends ago, that's actually when I bought this. We were staying at the Cosmopolitan and there's a Sephora right across the street at Planet Hollywood. And of course I had to stop in because, hello, it's me. I have to go into every Sephora I see pretty much. And I just happened to pick this up, thought it was beautiful, bought it, and I can't get enough. It's so pretty. 
Up next are the new Makeup by Mario Plumping Lip Serum Liquid Lipsticks. I probably should have looked up the correct name of this first. It's called Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Color. I purchased two shades, Soft Blush and Soft Nude. Now I used to talk about how much I liked the Makeup by Mario Plumping Lip Glows, but I have found that over time, they sort of melt. They get really, really messy. There's just something about that formula. It's almost like it's too soft or too hydrating because over time, they have just become very messy and almost gloppy on my lips. But these, because they are formulated differently in a different type of packaging, I can't see how that could happen with these. And of course, I went with two very Risa-esque shades, a nude and a nude pink. I love them both. I don't actually have either of these on now because I'm wearing another favorite that I will get to shortly, but I love the way these feel on my lips. They are truly a one swipe product. You don't need any more than that to get full pigment from this. I like the size, they're perfect for an evening bag. I started off by just purchasing these two, but I definitely want to go and check out some of the other shades. Hey guys, I'm interrupting this video because after filming, I started to hear some chatter about these running outside of people's lip lines. I wanted to share that I have not had this issue, but I do use a lip pencil with them at all times. I will certainly let you know if I start to see that happening. What I am wearing on my lips is something that I talked about in a testing luxury makeup video that I did back in February, I think. This is the new Clay de Peau Cream Rouge Shine Liquid Lipstick. At $50, this is quite pricey, but let me tell you, it feels amazing on the lips. It's very similar to the Makeup by Mario, so if you don't want to spend $50, I would check out the Mario, but this color is just absolute perfection. If I formulated a color for myself, this would be it. I love a nude that doesn't wash me out. I have tried on other nude lipsticks before on camera and you guys have told me that light nudes do not look good on me. And I do always appreciate constructive feedback. So let me tell you a little bit about this liquid lipstick. It says that it is a luxurious and sumptuous liquid lipstick with a rich cream formula for brilliantly shiny, long lasting, intense, vibrant color. Accentuates lips with added volume, plumpness, and moisture without a sticky feel. It's infused with premium argan oil, a skincare ingredient rich in vitamin E. It also says that it provides lasting moisture for eight hours and improves roughness in four weeks. So if you're looking to splurge on a lip product, I do highly recommend this one from Clay de Peau. Okay, I feel like I need to move a little bit faster. Something else I did test out in Testing Hot New Makeup for March was this Milk Makeup Pore Eclipse Matte Setting Spray. One of the things I said at that time when I recorded that video was that I didn't like how wet it went on. It goes on a lot more wet than many of the other setting sprays I've tried but I've discovered that I have to shake it up even better than I thought I was already shaking it up because that does make a difference. It still is more of a wet feeling on my face than say a Charlotte Tilbury or a Milani Make It Last or an Urban Decay All Nighter. But what this one does is something pretty magical. It really does seem to sort of smooth everything out, make my makeup look less makeup-y, especially when I wear full coverage and I have to set with powder because my skin is so oily. And I just feel like after a few minutes, I have this very airbrushed look. So if you are one of my oily skinned and or large poured viewers, or maybe you just feel like your makeup often looks heavy and cakey, I would recommend checking out this setting spray. Something else I picked up from Sephora recently was the travel size of the Valentino Born in Roma Intense. I love this so much, I am 100% going to purchase the full size during the Sephora Spring Savings event that's coming up. This travel size retails for $35. The larger sizes go for $156 for the 3.4 ounce 
and the 1.7 ounce is 130. This is in the floral fragrance family. The keynotes are vanilla, jasmine, and something called benzoin, benzoin, B-E-N-Z-O-I-N. And it's described as a magnetic floral amber that unfolds with vanilla and jasmine, two of my favorites, in a captivating embrace, glorifying magnificent personalities. I always laugh at these descriptions. They're just so dramatic. The scent amplifies the addictive nature of Born in Roma with a powerful note of vanilla. So I guess the original Born in Roma did not have vanilla and the Intense does. And vanilla is something that I really like. But I don't find that it's overwhelmingly vanilla. Oh, it's just so beautiful. So beautiful. Okay, now I want to take a little break from makeup and go into fashion. I don't know if you would call this first item fashion though. They are shoes, but they're not very attractive shoes, at least not to me. And you're probably wondering, Risa, why would you buy unattractive shoes? Well, remember I talked about that staycation I had here in Vegas a couple of weeks ago? One of the things that people don't realize is that the hotels may look close together, but they are not. There is a very, very long walk to get to everywhere, almost everywhere, unless you're just going somewhere within your hotel. But we were going from the Cosmopolitan over to the Aria for dinner at Ketch. And to do that, you have to walk all the way through, well, the Cosmo, and then all the way through the Crystal Shopping Center, and then to the restaurant. Now, as I also said earlier, I have been struggling with back issues. So wearing high heels to do that walk was not going to happen. I went on Amazon and got these silky toes that are roll up flats. So I got the black with a black patent toe. They do come in other colorways. They are stretchy. They come in small, medium, and large. I got the medium. I wear a size seven shoe. And I think the medium is either a six, seven, or a seven, eight. There is a size chart on Amazon. And of course, I will have everything linked down below in the description box. So I just wore these for the walkover, carried my shoes with me in my hand, and then when we got to, well, a little bit before the restaurant, we sat down and I put on my heels, I rolled these back up, and I didn't actually put them back into this carrying case, or maybe I did. I think my husband ended up carrying this for me. But yeah, I did have the bag. You just put them back in like this, and I had an evening bag, so there was no way this was going to fit into my purse, but you could keep these in any type of bigger purse or tote bag. If you're coming to Vegas anytime soon, I insist you get some of these, or you just wear flats all the time, which my mother would love it if I did that, but I cannot. I cannot give up my heels, not yet. Also, if you're coming to Vegas and you plan on going to the pool and you do not get a wax or a laser, you are going to need a really, really smooth shave. And I am really, really, really late to the party on this one. I have seen so many people rave about this product on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, you name it, and I just never bought it until recently I was at Ulta and I saw it. It was in my direct line of sight and I remembered how much I had been wanting to try it. So I finally purchased this Tree Hut Moisturizing Shave Oil. I got the Tahitian vanilla bean because as I mentioned moments ago, I do like vanilla. This is so good. It is just as good as everyone says it is. I use this to shave my bikini line and for the first time ever, I did not have any irritation. It says here that it contains shea butter and a blend of botanical oils that make the skin silky smooth and leave you feeling confident to go bare. And you know what, they're right. I did feel very confident because this got me such a close shave without irritation. Okay, I've got two more makeup products for you. First up is a new shade from Nude Sticks in their Nudies Matte. This is Sun Kissed Pink. I saw an influencer on TikTok use this on not only her cheeks, but her lips. And it was so, so stunning. I once again, went right over to the Sephora app and placed an order for it. I have Sephora same day unlimited delivery. So yeah, that is trouble right there. I love this product. 
It is just such a beautiful color. And this is the first shade I've owned from Nude Sticks that I felt like I really could wear on my cheeks and lips. And that is actually flattering is what I mean. It's very creamy, it's very easy to blend. One of the things I don't like about this product is the same thing I don't really love about the Makeup by Mario sticks. Is this sort of, I think, useless brush on the end. This one happens to be a little bit less stiff than the Makeup by Mario, but I still don't use it ever. So they could do without this and maybe lower the price, I don't know. But I do really like this, Sunkissed Pink. And then a new eyeshadow palette that just launched but was sent to me in advance is from Sydney Grace. This is called the Unbreakable Bond. If you have not tried Sydney Grace eyeshadows yet, I promise you, you are missing out. Their eyeshadows and their blushes and their highlighters are all so amazing. And I do get so excited when they send me a PR package because I know it's going to be something that I will actually use. They're one of the few brands that actually sends me makeup because a lot of brands think, oh, she's over 40, she must not care about makeup anymore, she must only be concerned with skincare and anti-aging. No, I still like makeup and you still like makeup. If you didn't, you probably would not be watching this video. Anyway, back to the palette. Look how stunning this is. Look at these swatches. And something that Sydney Grace does that most other brands don't do is they offer two different versions of a lot of their palettes. They have a palette for fair to light skin and then a darker version for medium to dark skin. Oh, this one is actually the deep palette. There's not a huge difference between the two. The shades just all have a little bit more deepness, richness, pigmentation to them. You know, they're just gonna show up better on darker skins than the shades in the lighter palette. At least that's what I think. Obviously, I wouldn't know for sure. But anyway, this palette, stunning. I love it. You might need it. Up next is another pair of shoes. This time, shoes that I actually do wear a lot and really, really love. These are also from Amazon. They are from the brand Dream Pairs. This wedge is about three inches in height. As you can see, it has the clear strap, so it really elongates your leg. They are extremely comfortable. There's nothing that digs into my foot at all. They go with pretty much anything. This is the must-have shoe, in my opinion, for spring and summer. All right, there they are, my 15 current obsessions. These are products that I am absolutely loving right now. As I mentioned earlier, every product will be listed and linked down below in that description box. I will also have the link for the Ritual Vitamins as well as my promo code once more. You are definitely going to want to try those vitamins. You are definitely going to want to try, if you haven't already, most of these products because if I didn't think they were amazing, they would not be in this video. If you did enjoy this video, I really appreciate you giving it a thumbs up. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and join the Risa Does Makeup family. I do post new videos at least twice per week. You can also find more fun content from me over on TikTok and Instagram. My username is the same everywhere. It's Risa Does Makeup. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video.